Okay, hello everybody. Another no This Chaos team is only getting Nurgle teams that it can't beat, by the way. Okay, that was Chaos with a big TV advantage. And then there was Chaos with it. Then there was Nurgle with a TV advantage. Was there. Oh, yeah, it started with a Nurgle team that it somehow beat. It somehow beat a Nurgle team in game one. And then got Chaos, Nurgle, and then Nurgle again. He has a sneaky get past to go. Well, this loss is going to fucking sting, isn't it? <laughs> This is gonna be, this is gonna be a disappointing game. <laughs> a sneaky get past to go. It's not the worst skill I've ever seen in my life. Man, maybe it is. Maybe it is the worst skill I've ever seen in my life. Yes, of course he did, Scuro, yeah. Of course he did. You moved nine players. <laughs> I'm not only eight. Only eight. Left with three players at the end. This is a different guy. <laughs> oh, next person who's nice to me, I'm just going to tell the fuck off of <laughs> Clawfirst, Claw, I mean, Clawfirst is fine, isn't it? Like, it's not optimal. Um, but at least it's better than Mighty Blow against Dwarves. Which, it's completely reasonable to hate Dwarves. And want to have something that's better against Dwarves. So, fair enough. There's the 6 SPP one. Right. I guess I should have received in that one. I, I think I'll receive every chance I get, to be honest. And just hope to hire all people. Give them the old BLGF. No. Say hello. Sneaky Pestigol's got to be one of the worst things I've ever seen. Uh, I mean, he's got more skills, right? I think the edge on the blocker is better than uh, than Sneaky get on a Pestigol. Set up the claw first team, yeah. Yeah, Ma okay, so block first hasn't worked. Mighty blow first hasn't worked. Let's go claw first. Oh, yeah, Rick's edge on a death roller. Yeah, okay, that's that's the worst, isn't it? Edge on a death roller is, is the worst because it, it does literally nothing. Yeah. I think sneaky, yeah, sneaky gets worse because at least you will sometimes dump off with a werewolf, won't you? You will sometimes dump off with a werewolf. Adjun the death roller increases his chance of double dodging, so it will do something. A dump off werewolf is terrible, but you never ever want to use sneaky git. Like even add on a death roller does something. Sneaky git on a on a pestigol. When are you ever gonna want to foul with a pestigol? Ever. Like. Because he's Rick, our oh, Yeti. I've given up trying to reason with him. <laughs> I've given up trying to. <laughs> Instant <yeah. laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Like, and for the chalk blocker, like, sometimes you dodge with the chalk blocker. If he gets jump up, he'll be able to jump up. Like, there's actual things that can happen from having Adj on a, on a chalk blocker. But... No good can come from a... from a sneaky git has to go. Fantastic. Great start. Is that a GFI? Good. Let's go, champ. It's down to one reroll. Yes, I know you, Dev, but this is... I said this is the worst skill up that I've seen. And it's... it. This is a sneaky get first skill. Okay, he went stupid and built a thrower, but... When it comes down to it, edge first isn't that bad. Even on a Saurus, right? You can make a Saurus carrier. And this has got to be up there for the... I mean, Adj on the roll it is worse, obviously. You know, don't get me wrong. Adj on the roll is 100% worse. And the worst. It's not the worst. I guess the worst would be like... Um, Adj on a... a uh, Adj on a Fnatic is the worst, isn't it? Adj up on a Fnatic is the worst level up. So, now, yeah, I guess Frenzy could, on, on a Noblar or a Goblin, could be, like, a negative. But, yeah, the, the Fnatic can't do anything with his Adj. Adj on a tree could improve his chance of dodging. AV for a Fnatic would help him getting stabbed or chainsawed. Jellio. So, it's Adj. It's Adj on a Fnatic. <laughs> <laughs> he can't use leap. He, he, use, he uses the thing. So, I mean, I guess I can take it, but I mean, it's just the same as Adj. So it's the same as Adj. So, like, some other things. You can't even take AV on a tree. Because it tends the max. Yeah, DP or Sneaky Get on a Fnatic. Yes, yeah, so the Fnatic has a. Has, has, yeah, leap. Yeah, so the fanatic has a few, has a few skills that it just literally can't use. Um, but for a skill, this one is if you use it, it actively hurts you. Oh yeah, break tackle first. Yeah, I've seen that as well. <laughs> I've seen that as well. I've taken multiple block first skill on an on an orc blitzer before. There you go, because. Unfumble multiple block was next to uh, mighty blow and <laughs> and I uh, I clicked the wrong thing.
How for you? Hmm. Never looking. <laughs> oh, Sean, he's he's fucking gone mental. <laughs> to put it bluntly, he is. They're not making them up as a joke. He's even defended them as well. Like I don't know, I don't know what his crack is. I don't know. Like I don't know why he's done it. Uh, do you mean defensive in in blood in the like latest Blood Bowl second season for tabletop? Um, I would say it's not a good skill for anybody. So there you go. Oh wow! Like it's it's all right, but the problem is is that it's not something else. That's that's the that's the main thing, right? It could be uh, <laughs> not your look. <laughs> um, the thing is, it's it's not something. Oh god, it could could like do a two D and then another two D and then. Okay, no, that's all I can do. Right, I'm just gonna scoop. Oh, I'm done. <laughs> <Kid Rock. laughs> um. Yeah, the problem is it's not the other skills, right? So, like, if you're an elf, where you get agility skills on normals, you've got dodge and sidestep. So, you don't really want to spend a normal skill on defensive. Because dodge and sidestep gets you, uh, you know, and block as well, right? Block if, you, if you're not a blitzer. Then you've got block, dodge, sidestep. And then... The fact that it's taken you, like, it's weird because sometimes you'll want to roll double skills because sometimes you'll, uh, sometimes you'll want to roll double skills because, you know, you've got an important match coming up or whatever and you're better off rolling for a random skill and having nothing to help you in that game. So like, so there's going to be situations where you will want to take a random skill just because anything's better than nothing. Um, yeah, I guess snotlings and stuff, but even then you're probably better off just not giving them anything and saving up the SPP for a double for like Dirty Player or whatever. So so like that's the thing as well, right? If, if, if you've got a block dodge sidestep elf, then you want guard or stats. So like... The only situation, really, where I would ever take defensive would be taking a random agility skill. And taking a random agility skill would really only happen if it was something like a, a skink or whatever, um, you know, in a kind of crucial match. Or the last few games of a season where you, you're getting some value from a random skill instead of no value from not a random skill. So very, very, very rarely. I wouldn't take it on purpose. A carrier could use it, but they could use it, but um, when would they? You know, like if you've got a, let's what's what's a ball carrier? Um, it's like a decent ball carrier. Fuck! <laughs> I mean, he could have covered the ball more than what he did. Um, what's a decent ball carrier that you could take? Um, a ball carry that you could possibly see. A uh, a dark elf runner, maybe. Okay, well that was disappointing, wasn't it? Very disappointing. Um. A what? Like what? Uh, what? A dwarf runner? A dwarf runner? Say. That look you got. <laughs> yeah, mate. I did great that turn, didn't I? <laughs> um. A 
Dwarf Runner, right? So if you go Dwarf Runner, you want block on him. And you want dodge on him. But then you want stats. You want stats, man. You want stats. I'm sorry, but I don't want to spend a double on defensive when I could have spent a few more SPPs and got plus movement. So then... And you could roll edge. So, really, what, what, you, what, you, what your runner wants to have is two movement, edge, strength, block dodge. <laughs> that's, that's what you want. 8448, blood, sure hands, dwarf runner. Thank you. Hey, once again, he's made no effort to cover the ball whatsoever. Complaining about his luck as he makes a cast. To go over two KOs that he's made. No, oh, I could have upload that, but it's only missing it. Mm. So it's uh, it's interesting, isn't it? Another game without a warrior. I just can't can't get them. Uh, so, so, well, yeah, you don't want to get block dodge, though. Uh, you don't want to get the dodge because you want to save the double in case you get a rubbish start. So, like, so you could get movement. There you go, I've got the concede because he thinks he's being diced. So, maybe I should have appalled that. Maybe not, Frosty. <laughs> um, BB3 is in the work, yeah. In, in the works as well, yeah. Hello, blinking duck. Yeah, I got old, man. I don't know, I woke up one day and I was bald. And it's, uh... It's just basically stayed like that. Amazingly, all my hair hasn't grown back. Randomly. Um... Which is disappointing, isn't it? Maybe I should have apple that. But I mean, even with two apples, I didn't want to apple it just to miss next. Alright, claw my Let's go. Um So yeah, so like the thing is, right, if you roll Well okay, the re so the reason that the movement is like one of the worst stats on the runner is because you can always take movement on the on the on the level ups, right? So Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna sack and rehire Moradan. That's a great idea. The thing is, you can always sack and rehire, so... Movement is a bad stat up for the, for the, for the Dwarf Runner. Because... You'll run out of stats. You'll get movement up twice, block and dodge, and now you don't want to roll for stats because you don't want to fucking take passing. Or a double. So, so after you get movement and blodge... Then you probably just like take tackle and kickoff return or something. Like I still wouldn't want defensive. So it's like it's really hard to get defensive. It's really hard. Like on the face of it, it seems strong. You know, don't get me wrong. Like you look at it and you think this would be nice to have, but you don't want to pay forty TV for it. And if you can pay twenty TV for it, then you're getting dodge and sidestep for twenty each, and then your doubles are going to guard and stats. So. <laughs> Right, no, you're not allowed to take a normal, only a double hippie. So that's quite important. Um, no, Jane, and I just, I just got ill. I just got ill, and that aged me a lot, I think, to be honest. <laughs> right. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.